Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things and I'm sure you can tell or you probably don't even care but I changed my background a lot around a little bit. I did film me fixing my bookshelves but I don't think I'm in a place with my migraines where I can edit that video and not cause myself more migraines. So what I'm gonna do today is I decided to film my October TBR. And I know you're thinking, this is going to be full of ghouls and ghosts and no. Really what I want to do this um, October is really make a dent in my physical TBR. That's why there are places here where there are basically no books. I did try to keep the theme spooky because spooky season, but honestly, I just want to get my TBR down to a place where I feel comfortable because right now it's a little bit ginormous, at least for me. Let's just get into the book. I'm gonna go in order of which I have them and it just so happens that I have all of the sci-fi and I go sci-fi because you're gonna see the first ones um, in the beginning and the first one that I have is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin now this is the sequel to what is it called the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin and this I am 30% through it I think it's either 30% or 50% I don't remember but I had to stop reading it because I was going through some shizzle in real life Yes, I say shizzle, I'm old. This is the continuation of the story of a few people that can control the earth and there is a fifth season coming which is basically the end of the world and this is like the worst one yet. Like the world is done, like we're done, it's over. So this one follows more of a character that we were introduced to in the first part which is a little girl that can also move the earth and use like she's basically an earthbender that's how i describe it i want to finish this one because i think that i'm at a, at a place where i can finally finish this book and not feel completely shitty afterward following that up i just want to finish the series so i want to read the stone sky and well this is just the continuation of the obelisk gate and i'm guessing this is going to either be like incredibly sad or it's going to be incredibly like satisfactory like it's gonna have like a really satisfactory ending so i'm really looking forward to this one the next two i have are the other two books in the born series which is dead astronauts which i am low-key terrified of reading this book i feel like this book is gonna take me months to get through because it's gonna be so weird and trippy it's like just look at that cover it's just gonna be weird and trippy so i am kind of scared to read it but i also want to read it because born is my favorite book and they, this is uh, the dead astronauts appear in born and they're like an important part of the story and this is basically a prequel to born speaking of born i have this little novella called the strange bird a born story by jeff vandermeer and she appears it says it's a new kind of creature built in a laboratory she is part bird part human part other things but now the lab in which she was created is under siege and the scientists have turned on their animal creations flying through tunnel dodging bullets and changing her colors and pattering to avoid capture the strange bird manages to escape and again this is a character that does appear in born and this is really short so i think it will compensate for the dead astronauts which it's not that long i mean how long is the dead astronauts it's only 320 pages long and you know we have like barely any writing per page but i'm just kind of scared of this book maybe that's why i picked it for spooky season the city in the middle of the night which the white balance is just gonna throw it right off but that's what it looks like and honestly um i think this might be a dnf for me like i'm gonna try to get through it but everything i've heard is great concept great idea really bad execution so i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about this maybe i'll love it maybe i'll find a new favorite all that i know is that these this book is about a city like right in the twilight of a planet that is not rotational i don't remember what it's called but basically one side is always facing the sun and one side is always facing 
away from the sun so basically there's just one place where people can live and our main character gets exiled and she has to make friends with the ice people from the other side and I don't know it just sounds interesting and honestly I this was one of those impulse buys where I want to make myself read it because it just kind of weighs on my head that I bought this knowing knowing that a lot of people didn't like it so maybe I'll love it maybe I'll DNF it but I want to try it either way and then we have like my most spooky read like I went online and I looked up scary sci-fi stories and this is one of them that I got and this is a short story collection but I will only be reading the title story which is I have no mouth and I must scream and this is by Harlan Ellison and honestly what I get from this is that it's five people and they're trapped with an AI that has kind of gone rogue and just the title alone I have no mouth and I must scream it just creates like such a picture in my head you know it's it, it sounds really good that I, I don't know much about it I, I want to go into it a little bit you know on the blind side of things and just so you know this uh, was a Hugo award-winning story and Harlan Ellison wrote it in one night and he barely made any corrections to it so if you ever feel amazing remember that Harlan Ellison does exist I have read a bit of controversy around this author in general because of misogyny and some things that he puts in his novels I don't know I want to see for myself you know I I, I want to see what this story has to offer that concludes the science fiction side of this tentative TBR because let's be honest I don't know how many of these books I can like get through October is gonna be a really busy month for me work-wise but I really 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 just want to get my TBR down so let's get through another like like I think the one truly spooky read that I have oh I have some in audio but this one is the pro the dreadful tale of Prosper Redding I am so excited to get to this one this is a middle grade scary story and honestly I love middle grade scary stories like there is something so pure about scaring the kid side of you that it just it like it makes me happy to think about it so I really want to get through this one and I think this is probably the first one I'm gonna pick up because when you see my wrap-up you see that I ended it on a spooky note and I'm kind of feeling the spooky vibes next up I have books where basically I have repeated books from a single author and I want to read those books the first one is The Loving Spirit by Daphne du Maurier this is more of a romance legacy tragic book than her more typical mystery novels this was her debut novel apparently it was, it's amazing I yeah I I'm, I don't know I, I wish I could find this in audio because I think that would be interesting but I also think that once it gets colder out I'm really gonna be looking for something like this to just like kind of curl up with and you know be a little bit withering heights e at least that's what I'm thinking it is the next one I have is Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier now I did say that I thought this was in Jamaica it's actually not based in Jamaica and it's based I think it's in Scotland and it's a mystery thrillery murder mystery novel which Daphne du Maurier is so good at and I just really want to read it and I want to finish all of the Daphne du Maurier books that I have and these are the last two so I just really really want to get through this one <laughs> like can you tell this whole thing is i want to get through this book because i have it on my tbr like my physical tbr and uh, i just really 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 want to get my physical tbr down an author that i don't see talked about enough on booktube and that is marcus Sedgwick now I read uh, the monsters we deserve by Ma by Marcus Sedgwick and I really like his writing style he's a creepy weirdo writer like his books 
are in that category of Jeff Vandermeer's where it's like this is weird and I'm not sure that I like it but I love it and it's so well written well and, and but he's more romantic romantic in his writing style so I have here uh, the foreshadowing by Martha Sedgwick and this is about a girl in 1915 that she can foresee people's death and her brother is sent to the Great War and she's trying to cross Europe trying to stop his death and I don't know I just think this is going to be such a lovely read I love Martha Sedgwick and the way he writes just the way he writes just draws me in pulls me in and I'm very excited about it now he does have a more famous novel than this and that is Midwinter Blood and this is kind of a time travel -y story where basically we are seeing people meet in the same place and fall in love in the same place at least I think that that's what that what this is it's the back, the back doesn't give anything away it just says haunting romantic tragic and horrifying so it just sounds like a good read for this time of year with where it isn't so spooky but at the same time it's like really haunting and ghosty and I mean need I say anything more it just sounds so good and really his writing style is oh, it's so beautiful I I think he is the most beautiful writer that I have read this year only in like I think the only one that could beat him or is at his level is Oscar Wilde and that is saying a whole lot I have another spooky ghost story I actually do have more ghosty spooky reads than I thought I thought this was like a boring stack of just books I need to read actually I think I got enough spooky shit here and that is The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell I think it's Purcell or Purcell. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Laura, for uh, mispronouncing your name. But basically, this is the story of a woman uh, who is newly married, newly pregnant, and newly widowed. But she has to go live in the house that her husband left her. And here, she starts to see that her new servants are resentful and the local villagers actively hostile. Elsie only has her husband's awkward cousin for company, or so she thinks. For inside her new home lies a mysterious wooden fi figure, a silent companion, that bears an unsettling resemblance to Elsie herself. This sounds amazing. This sounds like this is like a Halloween read. Like this is something to read during Halloween. And I, I can't wait to get to it. See, I'm excited again. Woo! And the last two physical novels that I have are The Red Hunt and The Wicker Light, both by Mary Watson. I've seen The Red Hunt really hyped up by a couple of booktubers. I believe this is Irish mythology. Basically, it's about a girl who every year she gets chased through the woods by a bunch of guys but I'm guessing it's not gonna be guys it's going to be yeah the game turns deadly but the Rand Hunt too sent undercover as an intern for the Harkness Foundation enemy headquarters her family's survivals rest on finding a secret meant to be hidden so this is also kind of spooky now the next one we have is The Wicker Light by also by Mary Watson. Again, I'm trying to get my TBR down and I have a bunch of authors that I have two books of for some reason. And this one is about a woman whose sister was murdered. And basically this case went cold, the police isn't investigating anymore. But she thinks there's so much more to this murder that isn't being investigated that she takes it upon herself to investigate her sister's murder and what she finds is that maybe there's some magical elements to this whole murder deal uh this sounds really interesting it sounds like a it's a murder thriller with magic dark magic like yeah again i thought i didn't pick spooky books it turns out that I just was saving them all for this time of year apparently and i'm really excited i don't know much else again you guys know I don't like to go into books knowing a lot. 
it sounds like a good time and I'm really, 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 really excited to get to this. Now, will I read all of these books? Probably not. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen books. And I also have two audiobooks that I want to get to. So let's talk about the audiobooks. The first audiobook that I want to get to is called, and I'm going to put, insert a picture here, Moon on the cross on the crested snow. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that because I didn't look it up and I don't want to butcher somebody's name, but you can see the author here. They are an indigenous author, and this is a post-apocalyptic story. And I am I love post-apocalyptic stories, they're like my favorite thing ever. I really don't know much. It just says with winter looming, a small northern Anis Hinabi community goes dark. Cut off, people become passive and confused. Panic builds as the food supplies dwindle, while the band council and a pocket of community members struggle to maintain order. An unexpected visitor arrives, escaping the crumbling society to the south. Soon after, others follow. The community, le the community leadership loses its grip on power as visitors manipulate to take control of the reserve. So basically, I'm guessing a bunch of murders are gonna happen. And that sounds like a good time. And the last book that I want to get to and I have an audio format is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I have no idea what this book is about and I've been told by Thomas as, at SFF180 that that is the perfect way to go into this story, not knowing what it's about and just letting it take you on a wild and magical ride. So, that's it. Those are the books that I plan to read in October. Will I realistically read all of these books in October? Probably not. Also, the sun is coming out and I probably look like a ghost. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I have a class in about five minutes. So I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're reading for the spooky month. Let me know what you're reading for the spooky month. That is my birthday month. It's my birthday next week. I'm so excited. But anyway. As always, thank you so much for watching and it's time for me to bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and that I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for coming to my videos, thank you so much for watching, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye everyone!